Lol. Imagining you are having a basic system like basic arch install with an XFC desktop setup. So if you are thinking to customize your desktop, like XFC is like pretty minimal and it's highly customizable. So let me show you how you can do like how you can make it a little more attractive to your liking. So if you go to applications and if you go to settings, you have uh, something called appearance. Here you can customize like your themes, your icons and fonts and all those things. So in order for you to do that, let's open up our terminal first. And we are going to change like we are going to do some modifications here and there so i don't wanna like blind your eyes by having a super white background so let me change Okay, so let me increase my font size a little bit. Okay. So the first thing you can do is you can download a theme so you can use Pacman to install a theme from uh, the Arch repository. So you can install something like arc dash etk dash theme. Or if you don't know the name of the theme package, you can search like uh, something dash s, capital S and small s, GTK theme. So if you do that, it's going to list all the available themes for you to download. Like, you know, all these themes. So you can copy any of these names, adapter or something. You can copy, like you can use this name. So the way you do this is you are going to install let me clear my screen sudo pacman dash capitalis and you're going to install the theme so if you do that it's going to download and install the theme for you the next thing is icons so you can download and install some icon theme so we can follow the same step like before so dash s followed by smallest and we can search icon theme it's going to give you a few names over here so if you want you can pick whichever you want so i have already downloaded and installed papyrus icon theme so if you want you can choose that if you have any aur helpers you can download themes from aur also so what i have done is i have downloaded a few themes from aur so if you're having like uh, paro or uh, yay you can use that and you can install some theme like uh, beauty line so beauty line is an icon theme then you can install uh, some other like themes like flat remix flat remix gtk so for me it's already installed but you can download and install them according to your liking then you can install a package for your wallpapers it's called variety so sudo pacman dash s variety if you install that you will have a variety so this is like if i open up preferences this is variety so it'll allow you like basically what this allows you is to download wallpapers from all these locations and it will change you uh, desktop wallpaper accordingly so if you don't have wallhaven over here you can add and select from where you want to download your images and for example if you double click you can like uh, 
search keywords like if you want something like nature or something you can put that over here and click ok so it's going to fetch the wallpaper for us and in every like specified five minutes it's going to replace our wallpaper so since we have downloaded our like if we click right click on varieties icon and click next it's going to change the wallpaper so since we have already downloaded our like themes and icons we are going to go to applications settings and appearance if you want you can open that up from the menu itself like you can see this one over here you can open that up and this is arc dark and if you want something like uh, windows 95 you can use chicago 95 so if you want to install chicago 95 you have to open up your terminal let me increase like uh, ro dash s followed by chicago 95 icon theme and you have to install two packages like uh, GTK theme and icon theme. So if you install that, you can like pretty much get the whole Windows 95 style theme. So if you like uh, go to properties, panel button, if you click this and uh, select the Windows icons. So if you have something like images for Windows logo or something, you can add that and you can change this icon over here. So currently I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Then you have, uh, let's select something over here. So this is flat remix. Then you can pick your icons. So this is beauty line icons. So you can see like if I open up my file manager and all, you can see this is beauty line icon. And same Chicago 95 is windows 95 epapers you can do that accordingly to your liking so we have set up an xfce with custom themes and an automatic wallpaper changer which changes our wallpaper like every five minutes or something according to the time which have been set by you so the next thing is if you don't like this panel you can right click Go to panel and panel preferences then you can click the items if you don't want this wish come menu you can delete that over here if you click remove it's going to delete that then you can remove something else according to your liking then you can resize the size of the panel and basically if you don't have this check mark lock panel you can basically hold this and move your panel to anywhere you prefer and you can lock it back so if you want something like vertical panel you can choose that it's entirely according to your liking so that is something you can do so if you want something like uh, another panel so you right click and you can like basically create a launcher or you if you right click over here and go to panel you can like if you go to panel preferences you can create a panel over here so this will bring up a second panel so you select panel 2 over here add some items like if you want action buttons you can add that then if you want Vishka menu or something you can add that if you want uh, CPU frequency you need to install some plugins for that but I haven't done that right now then you can have your disk performance free space checker generic monitor whatever it may be so according to your liking you can choose whatever you want over here if you want keep notes or something you can have it have that over here so if you click that it's going to pop up like you can do whatever you want over here so you can do that and basically since it's currently unlocked you can move it anywhere you want to place it somewhere 
Uh, let me remove some of these things. And you can like uh, reduce the raw size. So if you want it bigger, you can make it bigger. If you want it smaller, you can make it smaller. Then automatically increase length or decrease length according to your liking. So I don't want like this action button over here because I'm already having this one over here. So it's kind of like redundant. I'm going to remove that also. Generic monitor, I don't want that. So this will give me like CPU frequency, the drive info, like disk performance, but I don't have those plugins installed. So you can lock the panel once you finished your like moving all those things. You can set like always hide. So it'll hide always. So if you power your mouse, it will get displayed or else you can hide it intelligently. So what this does is it will hide this panel when you open up something in full screen. So let's try always. So that panel is hidden right now. So if you hover your mouse, it's going to open up. So click this, you can take some note, something like that. According to your liking, you can choose whatever you want over here. So that's that. So that's how you customize like pretty much themes, icons, and this one is fonts. If you want, you can install some font or you can change the system font. I like uh, source code pro. So I'm going to apply that. Then if you want like monospace font, you can change that to something else like bold you can do that. So right now you can see everything changed over here and you have options to like pretty much customize everything then for panel you have more options like uh, you can set panel appearances you can set like solid color background you can select like full black or some other color according to your wallpaper you can customize the color of that so that it will match so I'm going to use system style. I don't care. Icon size you can adjust automatically. And close that. This also we can do the same thing. We go to this thing. You can like adjust the icon size automatically. And you can uh, reduce the fixated icon size. You can have solid color or uh, background. You can set an image as a background. So you have to select the image from here. So something like if you do that, it's going to set the background with that. Something like this or else you can add new items to that. So that's how you pretty much customize XFCE to your liking. So I hope this one was helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Before closing everything, I'd like to show you how it looks like as Windows 95. So let's go to settings, appearances, select Chicago 95, icons Chicago 95. And we are going to edit the panel. I'm going to increase the panel length in items. We are going to add application menu or whisker menu, whichever you want. I'm going to add that. So currently I have added two whisker menu. So we are going to delete one. Let's move that to the top. And can add a separator if you want. So currently we have a separator over here, so we are going to move the separator. So that is that. Let me delete this panel. Okay. I don't like that over there. If you click this by selecting a panel, it's going to delete whichever panel you have selected. So that's gone.
now you can like pretty much go to properties panel button you can select the panel button preferred panel button so if you have some sort of images you can like uh, go somewhere if you want arch linux logo or something you can choose that so there you have it except see with windows 95 style theme and like now it's having like that old classy windows 95 color also so that's that i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day